second is whether uh, public private partnerships contracts are governed by the contract law or what are the laws public private partnerships basically the general principles of contract law apply but i would say that contracts of this type they will also be regulated they will also be subject to public law principles and they are so much in detail that if at all a dispute arises it will fall to be decided with reference to the interpretation of the provision itself so are they governed by contract law yes but i would rather say they are governed more by the contract itself than the contract law um, uh, time and again uh, for the some persons who have joined late we have been time and again laying emphasis rather than the contract law it will be uh, on the basis of the contract the subtle yes. difference between the two if it can be substantiated and elaborated okay let us take the government contract very long every detail has been given now what happens uh, for example if the pandemic has come and uh, let us forget for the time being that the government issued a notification saying that it will be a force measure let us suppose that is not there and the pandemic has come so will it be covered by the force measure clause or not will the resolution happen under the force measure clause which in most government contract means that there is an extension and for certain types of extension the rates will be renegotiated and then maybe after the time limit which is stated in it either party can terminate there are many types of force measure clauses but for example it it will allow parties to wait and also allow parties to change the rates at which the contract has happened now that the pandemic has come and one party says well i am i am discharged the other party says no no you have broken so compensation is payable or we will take away your deposit money so the question is will this be decided with reference to the impossibility or with reference to force measure and uh, if a client if a contractor comes to me and says madam this is my claim and this is the notice i have received will i look at the uh, case law on impossibility first section 56 or will i look at the contract itself you know these contracts have post measure clauses and its effects running into two three pages so i will look at the contract to read to find out whether the word pandemic fits there sometimes the word epidemic is already there so pandemic is covered will it fit within that term which is called and other causes of a like nature so to interpret and other causes of a like nature i will go to case law but there i am going for interpreting a term not for understanding the doctrine of impossibility so this is what i mean by saying that when we come to take a decision relating to a contract we have to look at the contract first to see whether it makes a provision and if it doesn't then we go to the general principles of contract law 